What do face masks, sanitary products, and underwear have in common? You're about to find out in this video because in this video, I'm gonna talk all about mask maintenance, mask cleaning, and things that you should and definitely should not be doing with your mask. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up for, for Peppa Pig underwear, it's not mine. The similarities between these three, well, here it is. You wouldn't wanna reuse any of these, you wouldn't wanna touch someone else's or use someone else's, and you'd wanna be changing these out several times a day. The exact same thing applies for your reusable face masks. When you're out and about, you wanna make sure that you have at least two face masks, clean face masks, per family member. Whenever I go out, I usually stick one in my pocket and I have one in my purse. That way, if I'm ever feeling around for one, I can quickly grab for it. Once you've used a mask for a period of time and you feel like you wanna change it out, so typically people will wanna do this maybe after they've eaten, they wanna put on a fresh mask in the afternoon, say when they've had their lunch break, or if you've gone to one appointment, you've left, and now you're going into another place, you might wanna throw on another mask. A really great way to keep your clean from your dirty separate is to have two different bags. Now, of course, I said I threw one in my pocket and one in my purse, but another smart way to manage this is to have a clean mask bag and a dirty mask bag. You can do something as simple as two zipper lock bags that are labeled, which is what I do, or you can get really fancy and go and pick up fabric pencil cases or make your own. As long as you just have two bags that you can keep separate, that is gonna help keep things healthy and clean. Now, this extends beyond just your car or your purse. You can actually do this for your kids if they are indeed attending school. You can have two mask bags in their backpack, a clean one and a dirty one. And for school-aged kids, nothing says mom and dad are gonna freak out tonight like a kid coming home with the wrong mask. So to avoid that, just make sure that you're clearly labeling your kids' masks. Since masks are definitely going to be part of our wardrobe for the foreseeable future, I think it's important to get into good maintenance habits of your masks. That goes for you as well as your kids if you have them. And what that looks like to me is having a very clearly defined clean bin and dirty bin for masks. They should be clearly labeled. You can either have them close together or if you're worried about somebody making a tossing mistake, you might wanna separate them out so that it's very easy to make sure you're dumping your dirty masks where they belong and you're placing the clean masks where they belong. Now masks ideally should be laundered every day. You don't want them lingering around for too long. If you're not able to wash them every day, that's fine. Just make sure that they're separated and kept in a safe space until they are able to be laundered. Now, when you get home at the end of the day, try to get into the habit for the kids, open their bags, dump their dirty masks in the dirty bins, and for parents to take their masks and throw them into the bins as well. And it should just be something like running through the dishwasher where you run through a load of masks every night. I know it's not exactly efficient, but it's kind of what we have to do right now. When it comes to proper mask removal, the technical term being doffing, there is indeed a step process that you wanna to follow to make sure that you're avoiding cross contamination or potentially getting anything on your hands that could get on your face. So the way you're gonna get started is you're gonna quickly wash or sanitize your hands. Then you'll remove the masks by the ear loops, not by the front. You'll put them into the dirty mask bag, close it up and you'll follow that up with another washing or sanitizing of your hands. When it comes to laundering your masks, it's pretty simple and straightforward. My biggest tip here is to use unscented laundry detergent because even the best smelling stuff doesn't smell so great when it's right up against your grill for the whole day. So like I said, unscented detergent, you wanna use the hottest water you can. This is really a time to try and kill germs and bacteria and laundry, especially using hot water, is really efficient at doing that. Now, when it comes to putting your masks in the dryer, you can certainly do that as well. Again, medium to high heat is fine. Now, the only mask that I won't put in the dryer is my silk mask. This one happens to be great at preventing mask knee. So I will actually hang this one to dry and I don't wash it in hot. So just know your fabrics, but pretty much everything else, hot water, hot dryer, I'm fine with that. Disposable surgical masks are just that, they're disposable. 
I had to go get a COVID test the other week because my daughter had a runny nose. And when I got to the hospital, of course, everyone had to be wearing masks. But once we got there, we had to take our masks on and put surgical masks on that were provided by the hospital. As soon as we were done, we took those off and threw them in the garbage. A surgical mask, even though it might not necessarily look dirty, you just don't want to reuse them again. So you can't wash them, you can't reuse them. Use them once, throw them out. If you don't have access to a washing machine or you want to hand wash your masks, you totally can and here's what to do. First and foremost, you would want to set up a bucket or a basin with hot water, the hottest possible water you can tolerate. And in fact, I recommend wearing dish gloves because they are a great barrier for heat on your hands. Next, I would add about a tablespoon of laundry detergent. Again, I would choose unscented to the bucket. I would add my masks in there, let them soak for a couple of minutes just to get saturated. And then I would use a very deliberate scrubbing motion like this. After that, you can let all of your masks soak for about 10 minutes before pulling them out and giving them a good rinse and hanging them to dry. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, what do you think about fashionable masks? Are you someone who just looks at them and is like, I need the mask to get the job done and that's that? Or are you treating the mask like an accessory? I am, I like to have different color masks and kind of make them work with my outfit. And it's kind of been fun. I mean, listen, I don't love the situation, but I'm trying to make the best of it. I'd love to know your take on it in the comments down below. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you wanna learn more about Makers Clean microfiber products, you can click this button right over here. There is a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.